sent me to the king. Because we were sort of like talking about a king's experience. Uh, in a roundabout way, amen. In the fourth chapter of St. John, chapter 4, and verse 24 through 30. These words are recorded. As you get your Bibles, turn with us to St. John, chapter number 4. Beginning with verse 24. I feel as though God is pleased with our praise and our worship. Hallelujah. Now, this part is for you. Amen. The other part was for God. Because we should give Him thanks. We should praise and worship Him. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for me that the Lord will continue to bless me. To go to His eternal word. I feel something coming. The Bible declares, if you're there, ch chapter 4 and verse 24, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah is coming, which is called Christ. When he come, he will teach us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What seeketh thou, or why talkest thou with her? Sound like anybody you know? The woman then lifted her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the men, Come see a man. Yeah, well, which told me all things that ever I did. Yes. Is not this to Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. Yes. Our subject is found in verse number 29. Come see a man. Amen. All right. Which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ. I'm going to go see the king. That's why the song said, take me to the king. Uh, you, you, you know, you know I, I, my life has been all messed up. My life has been all broken. And I've saw the miseries of life. Take me to somebody that can change my life. Take me to somebody that can make things better. Take me to somebody that can straighten up all the mess I've created in my life. I need to see a king. on. Her witness was about the Lord Thank you. and what he had done for her. Let's look at the souls at Pentecost. In the second chapter of Pentecost, the Bible says the Holy Ghost falls. The promise that God had promised to his people fell on the, those that were at Pentecost. Those that were in the upper room praying for the promise that Jesus said would come. And the Bible said when the Holy Ghost, when Pentecost was fully come, yes. there came a sound from heaven yes, Lord. as a rapture and mighty wind. Yes. And it filled the house where they were sitting, and there appeared unto them clothing or clothing or divided tongues. Yes. And they began to speak with other tongues that the Spirit of God gave them utterance. Yes. And the Bible says the story goes on when the men of, that was gathered there at Jerusalem saw what was happening. You heard the noise and heard so people acting very peculiar. Mm -hmm. They asked, what's wrong with them? Are they drunk? Are they drunk? Mm -hmm. Peter got up and said, no, we are not drunk, as you suppose. But this is what? That. We was prophesied by the prophet Joel. That in the last days. I we living in the last days? How we living in the last days? And so in order to be a witness in the last days, you got to get a hold to what God has prophesied. And God said in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons, your daughters shall prophesy. Old men shall see vision. The young men shall, old men shall dream dreams. Young men shall see vision. I'll pour it out on my main center with my hand there. Anybody know about the last days? We are living in the last days. What is 
has he done for you? Yes, Lord. Look at somebody say, you need a testimony. Yes, sir. You need a testimony. Look at somebody else says in that second chapter. He goes on to say that this is it. This is what, this is what, we're not drunk. That's right. As you suppose. We're not drunk. Look at somebody say, we're not drunk. We're not crazy. And so the, the disciples had a testimony. Because the Holy Ghost had fell and caused them to go into an atmosphere of worship that the people had never seen before. So here this man stands at the, sits at the gate of the temple waiting for the people to come in and go to prayer. Yeah. And he acts an arm. Peter said, we don't have no silver and gold. Yeah. But what we have, yeah. we'll give it to you. Yeah. Uh, Look at somebody and say, I may not be able to help you financially. But how I can help you, I can take you to the king. That's right. And when I take you to the king, when I present the king to you, he's going to take care of your problem. You say, well, Pastor, what are you talking about? How can they take it? Oh, they need some faith in the king. And the Bible said, when they said to the man, we don't have it, but such as we have, give I unto thee in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. Now, the devil ain't going to sit right there and not rise up. His duty was to rise up and walk. Give it to him. Yeah. His duty was to rise up and walk. Yeah. We can give Christ to you, but your duty is to receive it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got to receive it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. My Paul. Yes. Why? Because God changed his life and he had a testimony and he aimed it in his life like this. He said, I fought a good fight. I've kept the faith. I've finished my course. Now there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the righteous judge shall give me. Not only me, but all those that love his appearance. I wonder do we have anybody that has a testimony? But he healed me from cancer. That's what he done for me. Not only did he do that, out of six children and a wife, he put a roof over our head. He provided everything we need. Not only did that, but all of my six children have been filled with the Holy Ghost. Not only do they do that, but all of my children are in the church. They might not be perfect.
Hey, Jesus, they say, what have you done for you? of his glory, but God still blessed me. He's still turned it around for me. He's still worked it out for me. He said, I know you made some mistake, but just hang on in there. I'm working it out. I'm placing my word in you, and my word is cleaning you. It's filling you up. It's stripping you. It's turning you around. My word is fixing you. It's building you. Can't help but give you glory Because you've been so good 